Welcome back to my channel. So this video is kind of something that I decided to do impromptu while I was on my vacation. I just went back home to Michigan, where I am from originally, to see family and friends. And while I was there, while I was in my hometown, which is a very, very tiny little town in the middle of rural Michigan, and um, never had any kind of bookstore or anything like that because literally we have like one stoplight and a McDonald's and that's about it. There's like 1500 people in this whole town. But as I got older, I feel like it was either in high school or it might've been when I was in college. I actually think it was when I was in college, somebody in town opened a bookstore and it's just a little bookshop and a lot, they have a lot of used books. They do have some new up front, but they have two f rooms just full of used children's books and adult um, genre fiction and just general fiction books. And I've been in there a couple of times in my life. And just while I was there, I had some time and I was like, you know what? I'm going to swing on in and do a little impromptu bookstore adventure video. I have a, a kitty underneath my chair playing with a string that's hanging from the chair, which is there for her, but she never does this while I'm filming. What's the matter? You want to be in the video? You just want to play with stuff on my chair? <laughs> so, I have a little bit of footage. I honestly haven't really looked at it. It's probably going to be really short and I don't even know if it's that good. Um, but yeah, and then at the end of it, and now she's playing with the ball. She hates me. But yeah, at the end, um, there is a little vlog where I show you what books I got. So I'll just leave it at that and not really have any other wrap up for this video. So that'll be the end of it. So hopefully you enjoy. So the sun is right in my face. It's great. Um, I'm in my hometown and I forgot that they have a little bookstore. Does my hair look red? Anyway, um, there's a little bookstore in town. It's very small and like whatever, but I was like, hey, I might as well stop in because I haven't been here in a hot second, so. That's what I'm gonna do now and take you guys along with me. I might not use this footage because like I said, it's very tiny and I don't know how comfortable I'll feel vlogging in there, but we'll see. There's our one stoplight. It's a very cute little bookstore though on the outside. Saddle Club. I loved this. I found there was an Alex Mack book too. Somewhere. Oh, right here. That looks really nice. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Look at all of these little golden books. I could buy all of these. Like, oh my god. The box card spoiler is another one I love, but I should look at Google set sometime. I won't for now. It's number 14. So I got a few books, uh, mostly children's, you know, young readers and stuff. I mean, you kind of saw already, but, um, and it came to $10.60 for one, two, three, four. Five books, so not too bad. And it would have been even cheaper except for this hardcover copy of Island of the Blue Dolphins. I really liked this as a kid, and I've only ever seen the, you know, paperback version. Um, 
that's like all newer, you know, so I've never seen this um, edition and I thought it was cool. And it's been so long since I read that. It's been so long since I read any of these because they're all kid books. Um, this one actually I never have read, but it's been on my like wish list on I think book outlet. But The Little Prince it was a dollar. And then The Trumpet of the Swan by E.B. White. I read this a few times as a kid, I think, and I really liked it. So excited to do a reread of that at some point. Another E.B. White, Stuart Little, also loved this. And then there were two others that I was going to get. Um, was Runaway Ralph and The Mouse and the Motorcycle by Beverly Cleary. I loved Beverly Cleary as a kid as well, and Ralph was my jam. Like a little talking mouse riding around on a little motorcycle. Oh my god. Like, so cute. Um, and I was going to get those, but I actually think I owned them. And then another one which was a little chapter book that I read as a kid was Santa Paws and then The Return of Santa Paws. Oh my god. And, um, sorry, I have the windows rolled down because it's such a lovely day in this tiny little neighborhood. Um, but yeah, I loved these books. Literally don't remember what they're about. I just remember the cover and that I loved them, so. They had a whole bunch of like every Babysitter's Club book. And I did read those, but not like obsessively. I was more into the Boxcar Children, which they had some of those, but it was like number 14 and like number 16 or I don't know. Um, and then the Saddle Club, I totally forgot about that until I saw those. Like, oh my God. And then, oh, the Boyfriend Club. Does anybody remember the Boyfriend Club books? And like, I feel like they had like a little kit that went along with it and like you had you picked your boyfriend and then like he was in the books I don't know I don't really remember but it was like just nostalgia hardcore oh and then all the Alex Mack books um, they had like four of those but again I didn't I didn't grab any because I, I feel like I still own some of those but yeah that was the little local bookstore in my hometown they do have some new books um, but I was just primarily going for used ones talk to you guys later bye